Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video we are continuing with the little Makeup Obsession colour palettes. So today's video is going to be the Pretty in Pink. I bought mine from £5 from Makeup Revolution's website. And then I assume they'll be at other places like Target and Boots eventually. So I'm doing the video on the pink today. I've also done a video on the orange, the green and the purple. So I will link those in the description box. I've still got the blue and the yellow to do. So as soon as I do those videos, I will link those as well. So like with these videos, I have some palettes that I'm going to show you which are not exactly the same but the same kind of colour scheme and I just kind of do this because I think you know it, you, you don't need to buy every Makeup Revolution launch so there might be something a little bit similar that you already have that you can do a Shop My Stash on. So this is what the palette looks like. I think this palette is quite light if I'm quite honest and there's only like a few deeper or mid tones so some of the other palettes have been quite mid toned so they're all a little bit different so I love pink eyeshadow so I have got a few I did have more palettes but I decided not to put them in because um, they weren't exactly like not dupes but they, they just weren't as good as these four that I've picked out okay so the first one that I've picked out is this pro fusion palette and they're not dupes these are just like you know similar palettes so I bought mine from the pro fusion website in America and then I used a shipping forwarding service to send them on to me because they're not currently on the UK Profusion website so this one is actually still sealed just because I love that little record or little tape and um, that's on there so I thought that's really cute so I think when I come to use it I'm gonna like stick it on here instead but I just thought that like with the light pink and then the mid-tone pink there were like some similarities between the two so it might be that there's one color in here that you really like that you can find in something that you already own the next palette I picked out is from an indie brand so this is from Ace Beauty I bought mine from Beauty Bay it was on offer for about 20 pounds and I think this might be one of the closest but I'm not sure so this is the obsession and then you've got the Ace Beauté so obviously you've got that really bright pink which is the same and I do think some of them lighter tones are also in there as well next I'm not really sure how to call this because this is a self-made Kylie palette so these are Kylie singles but I modeled this off her sold out Valentine's collection which I think was last year so so I swapped out a few of the shades and then put my own in but like the majority of them are the same as that palette so you might have bought that Kylie palette or you might want to buy the singles so yeah obviously that bright pink is like in every palette that I've got to show you but yeah you know if you've already got that palette you might not need this one next one is Suva Beauty the rose period um, I think this was just available in the Tribe Beauty Box. I didn't buy mine in my Tribe Beauty Box because I really wanted this palette for so long. I bought it ages ago. I bought it on Haute Look in America and then again used a shipping forwarding service to send it to me. I do this like all the time. I'm so bad for it. Um, so those are the two similarities. I would say this palette pulls a little bit more purple but I think some of them lighter tones are quite similar. And then the last one is the LA Dreams palette. So I do have a video. I have filmed the video on this palette. I'm just prioritising these videos at the moment. So it will be coming soon and you can see what I think of that but I just feel like there's a few shades that cross over with this namely the more lighter tones. Okay so I have already done my base now so I'm using as usual the Technic. Here it is. I wanted to call it the Cut Crease Canvas but that's the revolution. I'm so used to saying that one but mine's gone off so that's gone in the bin. So this is the Eye Canvas by Technic. I've been using it loads lately. It's a really good base and it's really affordable. So I've just put that on my eyes. That's why my eyes look really light and um, because I've put some underneath my eyes as well because I never put base under my eyes but if you think about it we all do like a lower lash line so why not put it there anyway I'm gonna zoom you in and then we're gonna start enough chatting okay so if you look at this palette there are four matte shades and then the other five shades are shimmers I wish there would be more mattes and less shimmers but you know that's just how it is so um 
where do I start really because I would have preferred there to be a lighter shade than this that I could have gone into the crease with but I tell you what we are going to start with that flamingo and put that in the crease So that's the pink, it looks a little bit crazy on because it is so bright. I did get some fallout on this side, oh, it's not really blending or going away. So yeah, that's stuck to my face a little bit. So yeah, it looks really bright and unfortunately I don't have like another shade to put in the crease because the only other shade of this kind of depth or darker is this shade here which is called pop I think these palettes probably would be great if you're using them all together and then like you could pull in like a deeper color from another palette but I do feel like you are limited by just using one of the palettes and I, I know these are modeled on the Colourpop ones and don't feel like they do that I feel like you can make a more cohesive look out of them anyway I am going to put that pop just on this outer crease here and just see if I can deepen it up a little bit. I was actually wrong about that and that pop shade actually stands out on the pink. It's more of like a watermelon shade when it's on but it is really pretty. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and cut the crease and then I'm going to put this bare shade on which is kind of like a light champagne colour. So in my last video, the orange one, I tried something that looked like the same consistency to this and actually performed really well with a brush. So I'm not going to go in with my nails, I'm going to try the brush first and I have actually just put some nails on today so I wouldn't be able to get right in there. So yeah, we'll go in with the shade bare. orange went on so nice I can't believe it so it has made a little bit of a mess of a pan and I did actually wet my brush before I put it on because I was not taking any chances I wanted it to look really nice and it does look really nice so I was pleasantly surprised with that one so what I'm just going to do now is I'm just going to go back into that pop shade and then just like intensify that outer kind of colour in case we've lost any of it through putting on the bare shade liner is drying I want to do the lower lash line so what can we do with this um uh, I'm not really sure because I don't really want to put those two brighter shades back on there but then these two shades that you're left with are probably not going to show up much I'm going to go in with that blush shade and just see if that does anything some lashes on I've put these Ayla ones on so these are with beauty gloss I think she's called so it's like a beauty vlogger edition I just bought these from B&M for like 2 dollars I think they were 
Um, so yeah, I just got them and they're like a fluffy lash, which is pretty cool. So we're almost done with this makeup look now. All we need to do is kind of the inner corner highlight and the brow bone highlight. And there is a really good colour for it. This shade here, Treat, is like a little white bright shade. So I'm going to put that on now. Just going to pop that in the inner corner and the brow bone. that's that inner corner highlight on and I love how it's got like a like a little pink reflect to it which ties the whole look together so yeah I thought this palette was alright could have done with a couple more mattes and one more deeper shade but everything performed pretty well even that blush shade that I put in the lower lash line you know still had some pigment to it and I think it came off darker um, than what it appears in the pan so yeah I think it's a nice cohesive look I was really impressed with this blush shade this the metallic the shimmer and how many shades did we use so we use we use five shades out of the nine so I don't think I could have used all of them because there's like three shimmers there and it's like how do you get so many shimmers into a look but anyway and um, yeah so not a bad little palette especially for five pounds the only thing I think is that you know it could just do with like a little few darker shades a little bit more varying like I don't think the, this one and this one is needed just have one or the other and then they could have had like a darker shade instead so yeah um I will link all the other videos in this like series in the description box and I'm gonna leave you with some swatches now so I'll see you again shortly bye